Right, asking for something you want can be really intimidating for some people. Yeah, though it's an important life skill to have. So here to explain how we can be our own advocate is legal analyst and trial attorney Heather Hansen. Thank you so much for being with us, Heather. Thank you for having me, Karen Scott. It's a pleasure. All right, so what's the first step? I want to know the first step is to try to advocate for myself. I think the first step is to recognize that no one can do it better than you can. You know, so many times now I coach clients and I do trainings and corporations and they think someone else can ask for what they want better than they can, but only you know exactly what you want, what you're willing to negotiate on and what you're not and the passion and the drive and the talent that you have so that you should get it. So having that confidence, that credibility is going to be a huge help when you start asking. So you have a lot of experience, right? You've been, uh, you have psychology experience, you've been a trial attorney, you know the tricks of the trade, and you say we need to understand our inner and outer juries. What do you mean? So your outer jury right now, our outer jury right now are the people watching, right? Those are the people that we want to influence and persuade. The viewers have a jury. It might be your kids if you're trying to convince them to eat their vegetables. It might be your boss if you're looking for a raise. That's your outer jury. And you want to use the same tools I use in the courtroom to influence them. But we start with the inner jury, which is the part of us that listens to our inner stories and chooses which one to believe. And we all tell ourselves these stories. Oftentimes it's stories of fear or faith, scarcity or abundance. And the more that you can help your inner jury, the part of you that decides to choose the choices that are gonna serve you, the better advocate you will be. How important is the way you present yourself when it comes to self-advocacy? -adv it's so important, Scott, and especially these days via Zoom or on camera, it, a lot of the things that we normally judge by are taken away. So eye contact is extremely important. There's a host of studies on neuroscience of the brain that show that when you may, I, make eye contact with someone, you sort of get on the same wavelength. Mm. So you've got to, especially if you're doing it on Zoom, you've got to work to look in the camera and not at the screen, use your hands. There's a great study that shows that in the courtroom, if a criminal defendant, some Someone who's accused of committing a crime keeps their hands on top of counsel table, they're less likely to be found guilty. Because when we see someone's hands, some part of our brain recognizes that they're less of a threat. They're not holding a weapon. So when you're advocating for yourself, try to naturally use your hands, try to maintain eye contact. And the one last thing I'd say about this is also be aware of receiving listening to the tone of voice, watching the other person's body language, because that's going to help you know whether you're on your way to what you want or maybe not. Yeah, exactly. Is, uh, this, uh, the book is called, uh, you're, you're the CEO of Advocate to Win, but the new book has 10 tools to ask for what you want. It's Advocate to Win, and we're going to get these 10 steps, and maybe we can um, cram all of your knowledge into one book for us. <laughs> Hey, listen, you can absolutely use the book. It's Advocate to Win is the name of the book. It's got 10 tools, and some of them are the ones that you guys asked about. Presentation, reception, negotiation, argument, credibility, evidence, all of these tools you can use to ask for anything you want and get it. What, 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 I, I had a, for instance, I had a job, and I presented the evidence, and I didn't get what I wanted. What, what, what's your choice there? Do you, do you keep hounding, or do you walk away? Well, I think that one of the things you have to work to do, and it's one of the tools in the book, is to see things from the other person's perspective, because you can't change someone's perspective unless you understand it. So you might want to try to understand why didn't you get what you want? What do they want? And how can you sometimes get to a place where you both get what you want? Mm. My definition of win in the book is to receive something positive because you have earned it. And that means that no one has to lose. So I do think it's worth going back for what you want with some new evidence shifted and approached in a way that is really from the other person's perspective yeah. so that it maybe helps them. Heather, thank, thank you, thank you Heather. so much. Uh, some great thank ideas you. out there. It's called Advocate to Win, 10 Tools to Ask for What You Want and Get It comes out uh, May 25th.